going to be learning um, in between the time Min Chamarev and Shur David, a special Eitzvot son. It should be a schus for the Ilya Nishmas of our good friend Rabbi Nate's sister. Feigabas Rabchaim. Feigabas Rabchaim. It should be Ilya Nishmas and uh, she should be made at Shosha for uh, all of us and the whole family. Zun and Nachas and Meir Besrim. And uh, we have the schus to go ahead with what we've been discussing the previous time period. We are, thank God, Erev Achag, Sukkot, Zman I want to be, be able to give a big chorus of tov to the Ebishta Shem Yisbarach for giving us this beautiful base midrash. It's almost a year now since I had the merit to be part of Shirat David. And as we're going into Sukkot, Zman of Halal, Vahuda, a time to thank Hashem Yisbarach for all the good from the previous year. Chaga Asif is one of the names we give it to gather up all the Nitzosis, all the good things, all the Nakudas Tovas, all the Ashbaz Tovas from this time. And I missed the, the merit of having a few of the Hebra here but the last few weeks we've been speaking because they're either in Uman or they just didn't make it here for whatever reason. And Baruch Hashem, we have online any other who wants to see, I, I record these because I, I think it's important for posterity but also for people outside of the Shirat David. One of the things I encourage very much is that we should share the light that we have here. I know Rav Haim's doing that daily and other people in their own way. Everyone should share their own light and this is a very unique place. I've been in Eretz Israel now 25 years or more and thank you Hashem, but this is at the top of the list in terms of Rosh Hashanah, Yom HaKodesh, the Davening, Nasei Yom Tshuva. Now I can't wait for even bigger highlights of Sukkot. Um, we're going to hopefully cover ground a little bit what We'll go over what we mentioned the last previous times, just a very quick summary. That we're in Tishrei, this is Chodesh Hashvi, this is a Chodesh of Shabbos. This is an opportunity for us, especially this year, Befrat, that we had Rosh Hashanah begin Shabbos and we have Sukkot, Balein of the beginning Shabbos this week. And therefore, the derisa of Lula and Esrog is pushed off to Rabbonin. My, my holy wife mentioned, and also I heard Rabbi Edelman say it as well. Uh, it was almost the same time they said that, but even though it's the Rabbonin, it's still a derisa because the, the Rabbonin is a derisa. That's important to remember that. But at the same time, you don't have to be as machmir when it comes to any shilas of your lulav and esrog. Important to know that halakha um, But nevertheless, we have to internalize what does that mean, the Shabbos de Kachodesh of Tishrei. We're already now gone through the, the night of Shabbos, which is, we said is Rosh Hashanah, and the morning of Shabbos, which is Yom HaKodesh. And we are now holding um, Shabbos afternoon, the, de- the time preparing for Shabbos Sudas, which is Sukkos, Mansim Chaseinu. Shabbos afternoon is Keneged Sukkos. It's the, the, the third part of Tishrei we're already in now, heading towards with, with Hamish Asa with, with Tishrei. And we have the opportunity to enter into this panemius place. We're bringing the Chochmah and the Bina. We mentioned Tishrei has Chochmah Bina Das. It's a ticken of the three weeks, of the three weeks where we had the fallen levels of intellect, we now have the three levels of high-level intellect of Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. It's Hachman Bina Das. And we're now going into the Sukkah, into Das, into the opportunity to experience all the emes that we clarified and all the tshuva that we did on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I asked a bracha from a Choshev Rav in Yushalayim. I hold he's probably one of the Siddiquim Nistarim, or maybe he's known, maybe he isn't. Rav Yehuda Samet, uh, he should be healthy. on may have him, he's one of my Rabbonim. I, I asked him for a bracha in Elul, for Panasa. And his, his answer to me was, you should get closer to Hashem Yisbrach. Closer and closer to Hashem. You're, not just you, your family. I didn't ask him for that. I asked him for Panasa. He asked, his answer was, get closer to Hashem. Okay. So I phoned him up today and I said, with, uh, I hope, I'm praying, I'm davening, that Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, we are achieving somewhat what, you know, we're calling out with MS, Karov, anyone who calls out with MS comes closer to Hashem. So I hope that as a family, we've come closer to Hashem. So now can you give me a bracha for the Panasa? Yeah, so I asked him. He said, he, then he gave a long bracha, panasa, areva, but he said something before, before he got into that. He said, well, I'm going to tell you, that come Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, you've just gone through a clarification. You've now understood what you hear. There's certain clarity of MS, of why we're in the world, who we're here for. We're here to crown the king and to live in, a, in a, our Kiddush Hashem. So now we've got to bring that into Sukkot, into the time of Das, this is what he said. It was like Hashkach Apatis, exactly what we've been hearing over here by Rosh Shlomo and myself. The idea of bringing it into reality of, with certainty. And there's, there's simcha when you're without svekas. Bli svekas, you have simcha. 
Now, when you have clarity, when you know what you're here for, then you come to Simcha. Zman Simcha Seinu comes B'schut and Koyach, the Emes, the clarification we just did, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. So now we know what we're here for. This Vadut gives us the ability to reach the Madrig of Simcha. I'll give you a little Kavana you can have in Damani. When you say Vorey Verech Dovid, if you take the first four words, it's Rosh Hashanah's Vadai. Yeah, it's important to know that. Rosh Hashanah's Vadai. I heard this from Rabbi Sumai Zilberg. So he should be well. The idea of Vadai means it's certain. It's, it's not something maybe, Oba, Efsha, could be, is, this is something clear. We are here in this world for a very specific purpose and everyone has their shlichus and their tafkid. And the more we clarify each person themselves to get to know themselves and know our purpose, the more we can live with simcha because we're clear what we're here for. And we don't have any of the bubalim as we mentioned in 2023, now heading to 2024, already 5784. There's going to be a tremendous amount of bubalim before Mashiach comes. And as Rabbi Nachman talks again and again, Torah after Torah, we have to not look at those bubalim. We have to focus on what we are, who we are here for. And remember, da, know who we are. And tune into that vadut, that certainty. Once we have that certainty, that clarity, that will bring the simcha we need for the Chag. So since we're holding now as Mansim Chaseinu, and we start off Shabbos, and we only have a short time here, another 10 minutes almost, we have the idea of the Shpiz and Kedushin. We enter into Shabbos, we're going now into our home, and we're experiencing the Kedusha of the Sukkah. And remember, this is, we're going to discuss this in a moment from Rabbi Yaakov Klein, what does it mean to not have a mockum and then really have the mockum? We're going to talk about that of going out of our sukkah, I'm sorry, out of our home. Certain bechina, as the Torah says, going into certain bechina of Golis. And as the Torah also says, Avram is kineged Pesach, he is kineged Shua. So we're going into the Chag of Yaakov Avinu. We know with Yaakov he had to go out of Eretz Israel to go find his Zavugim. And it was a bigger vote for him, so I'll go to Bonim. And we have to understand there's a lot we can learn from Yaakov Avinu that connects into the Chag of Sukkot. This is his Chag. And also the Anaya Kovitz connects to the Sukkot of Aranakom. We mentioned we had a shir, a beautiful shir from Shlomo today about that. But the idea of the Shpiz and Kedish, we're going to discuss all of them. Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef, Dovid. We're going to go with those holy Ashpiz and the seven Ashpiz and enter into Shabbos. We might not be able to shake the Lulav and Esau. We're going to discuss what the Lulav and Esau are in a minute. We're going to go a little bit deeper than we have the last few times we spoke. We, we hinted that these four days leading up to Sukkot, leading up to Shabbos this week, are connected the, the, the four osis of the Shem Avaya. Lifna Hashem to Torah is the Kot Shal Shem Avaya, is the, is the Lifna Hashem, the Yud that's above the Yud. There's a certain higher level, the fifth level. We did all the five times two Vidyuim and the five Davenings, the five Tefillas, and that was that fifth level, the, kos, uh, the fifth Kos of Pesach. We, we've reached a very high level on Yom Kippur, but now we have to bring it, Yom, Yom Kippur, bring it into these four days we're in now. We mentioned the idea that the Yud. And it brings this, this is an Asida. This is like a, a Hasidic Asida from, uh, I believe it's with the Bells of Hebra, but I've seen it in other Siddurim as well. It's not just Bells. But the idea that we have the concept of the four, that, that the uh, four types of Dalad Minim, the, the opportunity to take the Lulav and Esrog and Hadas and Arava, we bring that, that's connected to the Yudke Vavke, these four days. So before we get to Shabbos, let's first clarify this point that we mentioned very briefly last time, and we can see it inside this time, that the Yud is connected, who is connected, we, we are, I asked you guys, it's connected to the Rav, uh, no, it's, sorry, it's connected to the Hadassim, the Yud is connected to the Hadassim, so how many Hadassim are there for most people's Lulav and Esro? I mean, not to that term in, we have like 50 or 100, whatever it is, yeah, three. So that's connected who? Who would be the three if we're connected to the Shpizim? Avram Yitzhak Yaakov. Yeah, the three Hadassim of Avram Yitzhak Yaakov, and it's connected the Yud of the Shem Avai. So that's the first Tefillah it says, yeah, and it, he has a beautiful, I mean, it's a beautiful prayer. It brings the Pasuk we say every day in Vori Varech David. Agdolik Vorech Tfez V'Nesach Ki Kav V'Shemayim V'Aretz L'Cha Hashem M'Melucha Ayidei Shlosha Hadassim Shem K'Neged Shlosha Avas Avram Yitzhak Yaakov Ayidei Shnei Badei Arovas The two Arovas yeah, what are the two Aravas? Shneged, Keneged, who? Who would you say the two Aravas are? The lips. This is the day we're in now. We're just transferring now to the Vov. What, what is the hay? the two Aravas? Who would you say? Who are two shepherds? Moshe and Aaron. Moshe and Aaron are shepherds, the Royim who took us out of Mitzrayim. They're the Aravas. They're, they're, that's what, this is what the Swaram Kedoshim bring down. Aide Lulav. Tonight is the Lulav. We're all the Vav. We're already working on these four Dalai Minim, these four days. The Lulav and Esau connected Yosef and David, says here. 
And that's is Kashu Abba Osis Shal Shimcha God of Kodesh, are they Shosh Hadasim or is Yud Shal Shimcha God of Aide Shne Badi Arvis, Mili Hei Shal Shimcha God of Aide Lulav, Mili Vav Shal Shimcha God. This is the Avoda, this is the holy Avoda we're doing, even leading up to Sukkot, because we're getting ready to have done a minim. Aide Esod Mili Hei Achwan Shal Shimcha God of Misham Tashpi Al Abdecha. In this tefillah, you bring your name. So my name is Ali Oles Ben Chanaliba. I'm a Maschah Chaim Tobim Shaolah Kaminian Hadas. Meaning Lulav, all these gematches, Shem Mark, Milius, Tite, Ni, Zera, Kosha, Hochem, Vesadik, Shola, all these beautiful gematches. What, we don't even masik how big, we don't understand how big the avoda of shaking a lot of an Esra. By the way, it's good to know, depending on your minhag, we do 18 Nanuim. Three to the right, three to the left, three forward, three up, three down, three behind, three to go, three there, Rizo. There's 18 Nanuim, which is gematche Chai, which is about how many minutes I had to speak here tonight. But the idea of Chai, Chai is Chiyas. Chai is the, the 18 spots of the spine which the Gemara brings as connected to Shemona Esrei. And when you bow down, yeah, Modim Menachem, you turn the snake of lack of a Korosotov into a Korosotov. It's the idea with, to live with Chiyas, we're thanking Hashem, the Hodil Hashem. When we say the Hodil, we do the 18 Nanuim. We're thanking Hashem. Now, you can work out how many times do we do Nanuim, shaking the Lord of an Esra. We do it 18 times 5. And then you work that out, and then you times that by the seven, and you have all these numbers are very significant. As Sadiqim, they're, they're constantly holding cheshbon of each nanuim, each one, what it pearl, what it does. But for us normal people, we can look at the Sadiqim and maybe we can think about it a little bit. But for us normal people, the main thing is to think of just thanking Hashem simply, without getting too complicated. So in all the different directions of our life, in all the different things we go through, the ups, the downs, the going forward, the backs, all the ureters, everything to thank Hashem. This is the cloud of sukkahs, the hodu lashem, that we made it another year, shechianu. One well, of the best kavanas I heard for shechianu this year, you don't make a shechianu on the, on, just on the mitzvah, you make a shechianu on a new you, on the new you, become a new you. It's not just a new year, it's a new you. That's what Rabbi Rabbinaman brings down. You make a shechianu that you, you just take a new Rabbinaman Torah, on a new you. This is the, the point, on a new you. This is what we're thanking Hashem, that you have reached a level to become the true you, and that is, a, as we said, we clarified Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. Now we can really make the Shachyanu sincerely, that hopefully we're, we're really clarified who we are, what we're here for. So now, Shabbos. We were in Shabbos. So we don't, once again, we don't have the Lulav and Esau. We, we, even though it goes on the tefillah, as it says about bringing miyuchad to kai vechad el chad hal achtim biyadi. You're making this unification by bringing all the dalim minim. Yeah, the Hadar, the Kabbas tomorrow, and Banafes, Avas, Arvinach. We can't do this, creates Hadar. We can't do this whole Vodor on the first day. So, what are we supposed to do? So, the best thing to do on the first day of Sukkot is one, is to learn about the Levin Esrog, but or even more, is to really go into the midst of Sukkot. Really go into the midst of being with Ashbiz and being with the guests, to really go into the Kedushas of Shabbos. We're going to do a special Hashanahs. We're going to go round and round the Bimah seven times during the week. But come Shabbos, we don't go round. So the COVID Shabbos, we stand still and we say Hashanahs. And in the Hashanahs, has, if you look at the Nusach, has tremendous Kedusha that's available for all of us about Shabbos Kodesh. It, tell, it tells us what Shabbos is. Read, read the Tefillahs of the Hashanahs and you'll get a very big clarity and chizuk of what Shabbos is, especially the first day. And then as you go through the rest of the Hashanahs, obviously it's connected, each day is connected to Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef, David, or connected if, if you're going according to the Vilna Gaon, it's, uh, it's chronologically, so it's Avram, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Yosef, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef, David, and that's the different Seder if you go according to the, the uh, Vilna Gaon's uh, chronological way. But the, either way, you're going through Sukkot, you're experiencing the light of these Siddiquim, these Sheva Royim, and they're with us. The point is they're with us. They're in our home, they're in our Sukkot, in our hearts. Now the point, I want to get to read Rabbi Yaakov Klein before we finish this, because you know, we've, we've got an issue with time here. The Basham taught, the idea of the Shal Adam, Sham Hu Ha Adam. Man is where his thoughts are. It's a famous quote from the Basham Tzadik Yeah, it's good, important to mention Siddiquim when you're in your sukkah to bring that light, not only the Shpizin, to all this, bring the Siddiquim as the Chabadniks they have. I wish uh, Rabdobi was here, but we'll talk about it when I'm in the sukkah the Shabbos. I'm actually going there for the Shabbos, so I'll share it there. I mean, he probably knows it anyway, but the idea of the Shevan Shpizin by the Chabadniks is Baal Shem Tov, Magad Mezrich, yeah, the, the first Alter Rebbe. You know, they have a different. A concept of what the Mishpizin in terms of they take it to the next level of their Rebbe's 
But immediately upon setting out of this palace, we've got out of the palace. What happened? We're no longer now by Rosh Hashanah Kippur, these holy days of Tshuva, HaMelech HaKadosh. We're now back to HaKel HaKadosh. We're back to Oyev Sadach and Mishpat. We're in a different aspect. We want, those 10 days were special in Kodesh for Hashem. And now we're like getting ready for Sukkot. So we don't have the quite same ability to do tshuva like we did during the 10 days, but there's a certain protection as we're doing the mitzvahs towards Sukkot and preparing us to do this amazing mitzvah of reaching the cheshbon of onus before Hashem counts and makes cheshbon for the new year. We're in a time where we can internalize that we're going out of our home into a place of our comfort zone, into a place not so comfortable, but the point is that we're, we're coming to a true understanding, a mindset. The mindset is key. One of the things I'm talking about in my weekly classes just before we end off, is the idea of having the end in mind. We spoke about it last time, having values, dreams, goals. We, this is the best time of year to clarify these dreams and goals and values for the new year. So all of us have this opportunity to think, realize where our thoughts are is where we are. So we have to uh, take that, yeah, that machshava and bring it into, into, uh, into the truth. He says here, how goodly are your tents, Yaakov. Yeah, the sukkahs is our tents. Your sanctuary is Yisrael. In this verse, hence the journey a Jew must Dante make outside the four Amas of his Mokham, at which time it's referred to as Yaakov, the lower level. But Matovo Alecha Yaakov. These journeys will be exceedingly positive, providing that, yeah, Mishkan Asech Yisrael, he remains rooted in the sanctity of his ideal identity. Once you know who you are, listen to the, what the Isbisha says. We learn the Isbisha here, but hear what he says in English. It's very beautiful. Similarly, each person, all the while, is not yet turned to the occupation of the world, is obligated to implant the words of Torah in his heart so that his holiness remain with him and help him to overcome anything that rises against him. How do you get this into holiness into your heart? How do we gain all these concepts, all these, these big lights that are coming down that so much, I can't even put it into the 18 minutes, so I'm almost up. How do you get it into this holy night, or the 18 brachas of Shemones we're about to say again, with the 19th as well. How are we going to bring it all into this, into our essence, into our being, into our sukkah, into our home, into our family, into our children, into this world, and bring Mashiach to Canaan? How are we going to do this? So he says the idea is you have to internalize it. The whole point is bringing the Torah into ourselves. And how do we do that? Then I knew it. We bring, every time we bring it back to our heart, every time we bring it back to her, or the Hashanahs, or every time we go around the Bimah seven times, it's more internalization. Every, every day of the Shpizan, we're bringing this, these holy Shpizan again, each time, seven of them, more and more into our home, more and more into our hearts. And obviously, we all know the climax is, and we'll end off with this, I know it's Marav now, the climax is Simchas Torah. Simchas Torah, in Shirat David, first time for me personally, Shmini and Seres, we get to combine all that, all that energy, the Shpizan of Shlomo Melech. The base of Middash, the Dira Tachtona, as we mentioned, Mizmo Shilia Mashabas, Rashi Tevis Shlomo, we've said this already. Bringing the Dira, Sov Tevis of the last Pasuk of Mizmo Shilia Mashabas, this Dira, bringing the idea, the Choch Shlomo, into our Dira, into our home, bringing it back now, the Torah, back into our home with Shlomo Melech. He is the one who's the Shpiz and Kedishan on the Shlim Chas Torah, and bringing that light into our life with the Chochma Shlomo. And this is the idea that we internalize it through Simcha, through dance, through Achdus. Not only we're bringing all the types of the Lulav and Esrog, all the different types of Jews, the ones that smell good, the ones that the, the taste good, all the different types of Jews, the ones that don't have any smell or taste, all the different kinds, the Aravas, the Lulav, the Esrog, all the different types of people and Ashpaz, we're bringing it all together, making unification. We'll come Simchas Torah, we're all, we're all unified ultimately. We come to the day of unification. This is a day of complete Achdus, and that gives us the power. Once we've unified ourselves truly with Hashem and Am Yisrael and the Torah, then we can bring it into our daily life, and we can bring Mashiach Sekein and B'mhei 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 B'mhei